And at the KMT Special Party Congress on Saturday, Chairman Eric Chu was drafted as the party's presidential candidate, replacing Deputy Legislative Speaker Hong Shouzhu. The new Taipei City government, where Chu is mayor on the same day, announced that scheduled municipal meetings would be moved forward, giving rise to speculation that Chu will soon announce a leave of absence. DPP new Taipei City councillors went on the attack, demanding that Chu resign from his post as mayor. Aside from Ju's nomination at the Special Party Congress on Saturday, there was speculation over the future of Legislative Speaker Wang Jinping. Ju said on Sunday that there was a consensus in the party that Wang would run once again as a legislator at large candidate. I view developments optimistically if Speaker Wang is listed as a legislative candidate. If he also coordinates and helps with campaigning, it should help our legislative candidates win a few more seats. In addition to speculation about a potential partnership between Wang and Ju, the new Taipei City government announced immediately after the Congress that municipal meetings scheduled for Tuesday would be moved to Monday. This gave rise to speculation that Ju is about to announce a leave of absence from his post as mayor to campaign. This would potentially be in violation of his repeated past promises. Whether it is the council's question time or review of the city government budget, if Ju is not there because of his presidential campaign activities, it is our duty to recall him. As Ju has been confirmed the KMT's presidential candidate, there will probably be a period where the new Taipei city government will be left without leadership. DPP city councillors, in addition to voicing more criticisms of Ju, are demanding that he resign from his post as mayor.